Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to share with you an engine that I purchased probably about eight months ago or so out of a collection that I unboxed and shared with you guys, but I never did a video on this engine specifically other than a few clips of it here and there running around. So this is a really unique and highly sought after, some might even say rare engine that MTH only made once. So I wanna share it with you guys, and of course, run it around the layout and show you what it looks like in action. So let's get into it. <laughs> So here it is in all its glory. This is the MTH uh, New York Central or Pittsburgh and Lake Erie A2 Berkshire. And this is from you know what I would consider to be the early end of the golden age of O-Scale. So this was cataloged in 2004. It features MTH PS2 three volt sound system. Um, you know, by today's standards, those sounds are, you know, maybe not quite up to what Legacy and, and even Proto 3 is today. But for its time, the, the sounds were very good. Uh, it smokes like a banshee. And it has some really unique tooling and features. And of course, the green paint job here, which you can't miss. So let's look at some of the details here a little bit closer. So taking a closer look at the engine here, you can see on the front, I have the dummy O-scale coupler on there for double heading and that is because Sid uh, from Sid's Trains and I were double heading this on Chris uh, from Chris's Trains and Things his layout here several months ago and I just haven't taken it off but I've got a ton of add-on detail on the front of course the the beautiful green paint job and that is one of the reasons I bought this engine and always wanted it and a lot of add-on detail here as we make our way down the side um, it does have an all-weather cab, so that's one of the other things that makes this unique uh, from some from some other engines. The doors do open on that, so that's very cool. Real coal load, and the tender is just enormous. So it's hard to you know capture the size of this tender uh, in video, but I'll I'll pull out some tenders from other engines you know that are maybe more well known, just so you can get a feel for it. We've got chains on the tender trucks, which is always a nice add-on detail. Again, the green paint job is my favorite part about this engine, for sure. It's just so unique, so different. Um, I know a lot of people are looking for these. MTH only made them one time, but they are out there, guys. You just got to keep hunting. Um, I was fortunate enough to pick mine up and just kind of stumbled across it, but they pop up, pop up every once in a while, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so let's show you what we got here. So in the back, we have our A2 Berkshire tender from the engine that we're talking about. We have a Pensy long haul tender, and then a tender from a K-Line, uh, what is now Lionel Tooling, A1 Boston and Maine Berkshire. And I did a video on this a while back. But just to compare here, you can see this A2 Berkshire is almost as big, the tender is almost as big as a Pensy long haul tender. Now we've got just a little short there. Um, and it produces some great sound, just like those Pensy tenders do. You know, and, and those long haul tenders are probably the, the biggest in O scale, you know, at least that I know of. So I'm not kidding when I say this thing is enormous. Uh, it adds quite a bit of bass to the engine. You know, I, it is limited because of the PS2 sound file and the the electronics of PS2, but for a for an MTH Proto Sound 2 engine, it does have quite a bit of bass, and um, we'll show you what that looks like here, and you can listen to it as we run it around. So maybe before we fire this engine up, let's talk quickly about the future uh, of this tooling, and you know, maybe the possibility of seeing one of these again someday from one of the manufacturers. So as I said, MTH only made this once, and that was cataloged in 2004. They have not made it since. Um, we don't know who owns that tooling. We know that Lionel bought uh, a decent percentage of MTH tooling, including a lot of Premier Steam. Um, we know some of the things they bought because they've released them or various uh, information has come out uh, you know, publicly or you know, through the rumor mill. But this is a big question mark. We don't know 
does MTH still own this tooling? And they've been releasing a lot of engines with whistle steam now. So they're going back and making engines that, you know, they haven't made in, in 5, 10, 15 plus years and re-releasing them with their new whistle steam, which looks awesome. So you know, maybe this is a candidate for that. Or maybe MTH sold this tooling to Lionel and they will release this with their whistle steam and legacy and, and all the legacy goodies. You know, we, we really don't know what the future of this looks like. Um, to me, it's a little strange that MTH never re-released this one because it is, you know, at least today, one of the more sought after engines. And, and you know, some would even say that this is rare. So it, the, the demand seems to be there. Um, this engine is selling for full original list price on a secondhand market, sometimes more. Um, not to say that you need to pay that. You can sometimes find a good deal. And I was, I was fortunate enough to do that, but it's strange to me that, that MTH never re-released this engine. So maybe the tooling is damaged or lost or not available. You know, we certainly hope that's not the case, uh, but it is a real possibility.